Hello. In this video, I want to talk about our integration with Power BI. I don't want to talk about statistical graphing. I don't want to talk about visualizations, which is what a lot of those videos out there are about. Instead, I want to talk about using R as a data source in Power BI. Now, if you've never heard of R before, I know it can be a little bit intimidating, but what I'm going to do is show you what you need to quickly get started. The first thing is I've come over here to uh, ilmran.microsoft.com. I'll zoom in on that for you. And if you just go ahead and plug this URL in, you can quickly download uh, Microsoft R Open. Now, I will also include these links below the video so that you have quick access to those. Once you get here, you will simply click on the download link. We'll give that a moment to load. And then you will come in here and download Microsoft R specifically for Windows or whatever version it is that you are working on. The other thing that I wanted to show you here, now the first is going to be required. Of course, you need R installed if you want to use it. The other thing that you could do, and this is optional, is you could come over here and download R Studio. At the time of this recording, there is not any kind of built-in IntelliSense around R, so it's a little bit difficult to go in there and kind of troubleshoot your code or test it out in advance. So what I like to do, I'm not an expert at R, what I like to do is kind of test out my code in R Studio. Once I got it working the way that I want, then I kind of transfer that code over from R Studio into Power BI Desktop. If you need R Studio, you can come over here and download it right here. Now, in this video, what I want to do is I want to show you how you can use R to access a file that is zipped. Unzip that file and then access a specific CSV file that exists inside of it. And then we can process that file directly into Power BI. I think that's a really cool example. Historically, I've worked on kind of enterprise BI solutions and I've worked with SSIS, uh, PowerShell, you know, maybe some kind of Windows batch command. And so uh, my first thought when I come across a scenario like that is, okay, now I have to work outside of Power BI. I have to build some other process that's going to, you know, move that file around or unzip that file so that I can finally process it and then maybe clean that up afterwards. Now with our integration, we can use it as a data source to connect to that zip file, unzip it, and then read the CSV file directly from that. And that is pretty cool. So let me transition over to our studio where I've already written the code and we're gonna walk through that code very quickly so you get a feel for how this works. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do in this code right here is I am declaring a variable. I've named this variable data. You can name yours however you like, but I named it data. You can name this super cool data, Mitchell is cool, whatever you want. And then on the other side of this, we have a kind of a less than and then a dash. That is a declaration, right? That says, I want to, uh, I've declared it already. Actually, that's an assignment. I've declared the variable. Now I want to assign whatever is after this expression or part of this expression. I want to assign that value to the data variable that we've already defined. Now, the first thing that you'll see here is we have a read.csv command. That read.csv command there, let me go ahead and zoom back out. I hit the wrong button. The read.csv command is going to read the result of our unzip command or that unzip function right there. So let me clean this up just a little bit so it's a little easier to read. I'm going to move that unzip down to the next line as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unzip this file that I have right here, which is simply just a customer sales file that has a single CSV in it. I've zipped that file up. Once I unzip that file, I then want to access the customer cell CSV. So that is the file that I return. I then use the read.csv function to read the results of that file, and then I store the result into the data variable. This piece of code right here is really easy. There's going to be a couple more videos that I do that show you some. Uh, there's going to be a couple that are a little more advanced, but that are going to be about as easy as this one. And then what I do is you take this code and you transfer that over to Power BI Desktop. However, if we want to view the results of this code right here in our studio, I can do that by highlighting all the code and then running it over here on the right hand side. If I have my keyboard, I could probably just hit F5 and run that through a hotkey. And so now we see the results of this file, or at least most of the results in this file. Now remember, once again, I don't need to actually print the data variable here. The reason that I ran the data variable was to actually see what was inside of it. What I'm going to do now is we're going to copy out this code and then we're going to go over to Power BI Desktop and we're going to use R as a data source. All right, let's jump over there real quick. And there we go. Now, the data source that I want to select 
is going to be right here in the Get Data menu. So I'll click on Get Data. There's two buttons here. If you click the top half, it shows you all the data sources. The bottom half shows you the most common data sources as determined by Microsoft. And then I'm going to go into Other and select R Script. Click Connect. And that's just going to give us a very basic text editor. So I'm going to, inside of this text editor, paste in that code. Remember, we don't need that data variable, so I grab that right there on accident. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. We'll give that a moment to load, and then any variables that have been uh, declared inside of that R script are going to show up here in this navigator pane that we can select from. So you get the same navigator pane that you would get with Excel or if you had connected to a web page or something like that. If I click on that right there, you'll see we get the exact same results, the same thing that we saw in our studio. We didn't have to worry about troubleshooting or debugging it at all. We have the results right here. I'm going to go ahead and select that table, and then I can load that data right there into Power BI Desktop. And that's it. That's a pretty simple example. What I want to do is a small little series here of videos, and I'll do them right through YouTube, that's going to walk through a couple different scenarios of how you can use R based on some scenarios that I've used it for. This is the first example. Look for the future videos. If you have an example you would like to see or something you're curious about, leave some comments in the section below. And that's it. I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you.